please let us be seated and let's be calm and be attentive as we will invite our father who has been with us since yesterday to come and take up the ministration of the word of god our beloved father father pastor jod ekele members of the executive and our father the aja area superintendent shall we please rise to our feet and give god three shouts of hallelujah as our father steps forward let's go hallelujah 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 praise the lord hallelujah as we are standing we begin to appreciate God. One. For creating us. In his image and likeness. Appreciate God. You are different from chimpanzee. You are different from other animals. You were created in the image and likeness of God. He freely did this so that we can worship him. He freely did this. He freely for counting you wanted to be here probably you were not here last year but this year you are here by implication is making you to be part of the history appreciate him for he alone is worthy and ask him Lord let me not hear this word for nothing let it edify me let the seed of your word be transplanted into my heart and let it yield many fruits Fruit of righteousness, unpretentious holiness, and commitment to the cause of the gospel. Let us pray to God now. He is God. You and I are human. Let his sovereignty be experienced by every one of us today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, in your name, we are gathering, bowing before your majesty, asking you to take charge of this service today. That every bit of the word that will come out will be of a greater benefit to each one of us. Breaking every yoke of darkness. Amen. Setting the captives free. Amen. Destroying bondages. Amen. And roll away off the shoulders of those that are carrying it. Amen. As we bring down your glory upon this land. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. A better amen than that. Amen. Before you, before you get seated, look at your neighbor's face. Ask your neighbor. Are you still in the faith? I'm not talking if you were in the faith. I'm talking of if you are still in the faith. Whatever answer the person has given you, that is yours. Be seated. I want to appreciate our father my father in the lord a man i so much reverenced because of his commitment 
and tenacity in the Lord. Nitori ifara ji won ati ise eto won se ninu oluwa. And a mother ati awon mama wa a father pastor doctor J Okon and a mother Dickness Okon. Awon baba wa pastor doctor J E Okon ati awon mama wa Dickness Okon. The rest of the Lord of Badagri, who has deemed it fit that I should be here. So I will not take this privilege for granted. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. And equally, I thank the area council of uh, Badagri area. Because if you, have, if you have debated with our father and said we don't need him, that man, uh, what reason? Because he's carified. You know what that means? Because he's carified. He has three, three marks. And we don't need him. I, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, I am proud of you. God bless you. I thank our father who spoke yesterday. A very humble man of God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Uh, he really spoke the mind of God. That means what I'm going to speak today is simplified. Yesterday, being the welcome service of this program. The, the second edition of uh, Badagri Area Annual Convention. Introduction and background of this team of the convention was outlaid and analyzed. And this morning, what I am asked to speak on is prophecies and purpose of his return. And you know the team of this convention is this same Jesus. Well, I don't know. I am not a Yoruba man, but Jesus uh, know ye. Or Jesu Kono. Which one is more appropriate? Eh? Jesu Jesu He's supposed to be Jesu Kono. Eh? This same. Because when you say Jesu no ye, you have removed the same. By, by Yoruba. I only attended class so that I can know how to read and write Yoruba. So, so that I will not be confused. That's why I'm asking. Because my Yoruba told me, Yoruba teacher told me that uh, when you say this same Jesus, it means konoi. Konoi. Very, very important. Uh, I think I love that. I love that. Uh, uh, this morning we are going to talk about prophecies. But my appreciation of this team is that it is a team that creates consciousness in everyone that is here. Shubon, if he ore mi hon, no di koko yi oni pe omu okonwa si mu rasile lati no di koko ore. And um, if you leave this convention and you remain the same the way you came, it means the devil has cheated you. Because the the Make sure you apply your heart to every bit of the word. You heard yesterday. I are hearing today. Um, from the scripture that was read to us. First Thessalonians. Thessalonica, Chapter four. Ori 
from verse 13 to 18 talking of the advent the second advent of Christ I love that but I'm going to do a kind of uh, synthetic analysis of this advent in the first place Jesus came. Jesus, what? Isn't it? For God so loved the world. Gave. Gave. He came as the gift of God to Are you prepared? I'm prepared, sir. Sorry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came as a gift of God to the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the scripture says that whosoever believes in him will not perish. But whosoever does not believe in him is condemned already. I'm talking from John 3, chapter 16, verse 18. John 3, verse 16 to 18. It seems to be primary. It seems to be foundational. Because if he had not come the first time, we will not be expecting him the second time. He came at the first time with mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He tolerated the blind, the crippled, the whatever, the lame. Even one of his disciples, one of his apostles, was a criminal. He did not chase him away. And the apostle said, "He gave him a portfolio." He gave him a portfolio. That is the most dangerous thing. For somebody to be holding a position, yet is not going for reward. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's so sympathetic. It's like a soldier going to the theater removing the tumor from the victim and coming out of the theater looking at the families of the victim and said sorry she couldn't make it oda bi oni se abe to wo yara abe lo to si wa yo ah jejere kuro ni ori ni ara eni ti o ni leyin to si jade ni yara abe to so fun awon ebi pe ah o ma se ni lanu eni yi ko le yi ko ye you buy one here. And you go ye. Go ye. Go ye. Everyone says, go ye. I mean, you have to go to the house. Yes. I mean, you have to go to the house. I mean, you have to go to the Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 He shook the head. Oh, my God. And said, Oh, I will pay. Sorry. Oh, my God. He could not make it. Go ye. Christianity is a race. In your joke, Christianity, many will not make it. And it is going to be sympathetic for you to have rebuked Satan, cast out Satan, binding Satan, and Satan will welcome you to hell. For what a terrible moment will that day be. It might be that you are not a thief. 
O se se pe o kin se o le. But your own problem ogbon isoro re is that your mouth can speak anything. O ni pe enu re le so that your eyes see. E ti oju re ba ti ri. And on that day you will say he cannot make it. Ati ni ojo yen won a so wi pe ko ma laja. So let's go to the prophecy. I'm going to give in two sections here. The first section uh, is the prophecy, actually. The second section is the purpose of his return. But I must tell you about the return of Christ, the two types of the return of Christ. Two types. One the first return is called rapture. We were a coco only igbasoke. What is rapture? Kini igbasoke. Rapture is an hysteric movement from the earth that violate the law of gravity igba soke ni mimukuro ni orile aye eto tako ofin ti awon onimo eh onimo ka ofi fosoke janle fosoke janle fi fosoke ati jija sile hallelujah hallelujah are you here with me? Show one in your me. It is the law of gravity that whatsoever that goes up does what comes down. But at the time of rapture, a twinkling of an eye, with all sense of velocity and immediacy, the individual will be taken without human force. Ofin la la toroke ile lombo. It might be the time you gather together in the church. It might be the time you are fighting your husband because he has not bought, you know, Easter food, Easter clothes for you. Oh, she she pay back to oti lemba kore gija kadini ni tori pe koti rasho ajin de fun. And a trumpet will be blown. How you have fun? And if your husband has the seal of the blood of Jesus that ushers him into salvation, he will be taken away. You remain there. And it's going to be so terrible. <laughs> so terrible because People have known you that you are a Christian. But the characteristic features of being a Christian is not part of you. The only characteristic features that are found in you is being religious. And religiousness is not Christianity at all. It's not it is the religious people that we call Pharisees and Sadducees, and their characters is very evil. In fact, Nunu Iwe Juanu 16, only one leg by in your way, one shop, one see a lot runny. They said they are fighting for God, and the book of John. Uh, can they, you can you really run with me? Yes, sir. I can. Please, do. please. They do. they will even kill people and say they are fighting for God. How would that be? Bow on you, Sherry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know why God gave you this team. Me or my dear, tell long before you go God can never give a team for any program in the church 
without sin setting the case Olorun ki fi koko fun ijo fun eto padaki lai se pe ori ohun it means probably god have seen carelessness o tu mo si pe o se se pe olorun ti ri ija farawa god have seen that you were becoming lukewarm o se se pe olorun ti ri pe ati n wa ni lowo god have seen maybe that you are losing grip of your salvation o se se pe olorun ti ri pe ati n padanu gbigba igbalawa mu and god has brought this team olorun si ti mu koko iwa so that you know ki o ba le mo jesus is coming be jesu nbo i told you the first advent is the birth of jesus abi the second advent is segmented into two the the rapture will be in the air most of the rapture will take place and there is no partial rapture let's take note of that because so many pastors are preaching on television and telling you that there are rapture, i mean partial rapture there is my bible did not tell me that from where it was read first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 let us do a little survey verse 13 chapter 4 verse 13 the bible said but i would not have you to be what ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope in other words those that have died to a christian if you are a christian you don't die to ba je christian ni o ki ku you don't use death the concept death for a christian who has fallen asleep a kin lo oro iku fun christian ni ti o nsun my mother died mama mi ku in a literal term ni e de and people were coming to cry awon yan si won pada wala ke and them you don't cry in my house won wa so fun e mama so kun le mi o they say why won ni kini dire i say number one i'm the owner of the house won ni akoko emi lo ni le yi they say eh number two ikeji when he was sick we didn't see you a o mari yin number three iketa your tears cannot bring her back o mi je yin ko ma le mu pada wa mo number four ikeni you are disdaining god because you are not the owner of my mother is god who brought her is god who has taken her en ko lo ni ya mi olorun lo mu wa olorun lo si ti mu they say okay on your dara okay on you know you know that because it is it is another when you come rejoice yo ba wa yo that a woman of about 90 years is gone i don't i don't i don't want to o wa o si ti lo but don't cry here mo to wa ngbon to ngbin When, when you see a child of the disease crying na poverty the warrior to ba yo omo loku to nso kun ise lo nba ja o is looking for pity ise lo nwa anu latodo eni 90 years if you know that na mi go die i don't want to ti ko ba ku se mi lo ya ye kin ku ni and this is exactly what the lord is saying oh. you must not be ignorant who are asleep ohun ti oluwa sin so ni pe a o gboro je o pe ni ti awon to sun my mother any time he gathered us together he say anything that will happen to you that you will die should happen to me because you are the one to bury me i'm not the one to bury you nigba ti o ba ko wa jo a so pe o is only a bad mother that to donate the children nitori pe wo lo o pe mi kill them for me obi buruku la ma wo pe ki omo e ku saju re may such people not be in the church o gbadura pe iru awon eyan be o ni sinunu ijo o are you hearing what i'm saying show ti le gbo ti mo nso what are we talking about ki la nso ni bible says bi peli wipe you must not be ignorant a o gbodo je o pe just like others have lost their hope gege bi awon yoku ti so ire ti won this convention is meant to create hope in you against hopelessness i pejo po mi mo yi wa o wa lati fi ire ti sinu what is our hope as christians kini re ti wa gege bi christian that jesus 
was born. Pe abi Jesus Christi. That Jesus was crucified. Pe akoma belebu. That Jesus died. Pe Jesus uku. That Jesus was buried. Pe asi on the third day. Ni ojo keta. He resurrected from the grave. Oji indekuro nuoku triumphantly. Pe Luis Shegu. Declared by the angels. This Jesus you are looking for is no longer here. Go to where? Jerusalem. See Jerusalem. Just like he has told you. You are going to see him there. Glory to God. Glory to God. And the apostles left. Even though they were moving with him, they did not know at the road of Emmaus. They didn't know. May sorrow not be cloud your eyes so much that you cannot recognize that God is still with you. And Jesus made himself known to them. And this moment, Jesus is going to make himself known to someone. When Jesus makes himself known to you, traditions and all rudiments that are negatives will give way and Jesus will become prominent in everything that you do. It is unfortunate that so many are in, in the church and yet they belong to Oro. They belong to Oro. When he comes, what will happen to such people? You are disconnected from their place. Just like I was disconnected from there. Are you here what I'm talking about? I was born not dedicated at the altar. I was born and dedicated to idols. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But Jesus came, pulled me out, washed me. Wash me. Oh, when me, I became a product of grace. Moje, oh, 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 a product of grace. A product of grace. Moje, oh, 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 oh. Everything about me is grace. Where I am is grace. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. If you don't see yourself as a product of grace, you will begin to see your self-effort. You begin to see your greatness. It is grace. Grace alone. The scripture says in Ephesians chapter 2 in verse 8 for ye are saved by grace not by works lest any man any woman should boast we are saved by grace this is Jesus who saved us by his grace through his redemptive blood is coming my fear is this this time that is coming it's not coming with mercy it's not coming with pity look at what he said in John chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 he said let not your heart be what just like Paul said in that first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 that we should not be ignorant Jesus said let not your heart be troubled let not your heart be troubled what does that mean? it literally means let not be confused don't doubt within your heart believe that he is what did he say? I'm going to prepare a place for you. Why did he go there in the first place? To prepare a place for you. To prepare what? 
a place for you. Lati lo pese aye sile fun o. And when I have finished preparing a place for you. At nigba ti ma ti se ton lati pese aye sile fun o. I am coming back. Mo n pada bo. Not to come and stay and be dining and play ludo or draft with you. I am coming back to take you home. For where I am, there you shall be also. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, King James Version. Said Eda, there ye may be. Do you know, do you know why he used that weak conditional clause? May be. Because it is predicated on human volition. You can decide not to go to heaven. You can decide to go to heaven. After hearing all the messages, and you begin to do what is inordinate, what is mundane, what is terrestrial, what is not heavenly, you will not be there. It does not matter how long you have spent in the church. It does not matter how much you have contributed. What matters is are you going to be with him? There ye may be also. And most times when I read King James Version, I say, why did he use that uh, probability? Why did Jesus use that probability? Because every human being is a volitional being. Good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only Ipi Latin. Okay, sir. Yes? Choice. Are you hearing me? Choice. Yeah, good. You 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 have right to choose in between alternatives. Oh, to a family no to one. Human being human being is just it's not just one unit. Human being is four units. God just make you four units. Oh, she she pay Mary. Eh? Pay Mary. Mary. You want to marry? You have four units. Your personality is of four units. Number one, you are a mind. You can reason, isn't it? You can think, isn't it? God made you to be a thinker. It's either you are a subjective thinker or objective thinker. If you are subjective thinker, you will think vile. If you are an objective based thinker, you will think things that are correct Look at look at the way look oh, at the way no. Paul told us to think. The, the way Christians think is different from the way unbelievers think. But it's unfortunate that so many believers are thinking like unbelievers. My Bible tells me how I should think. Philippians chapter four. Very fast. Very fast. Oh my God, no reader here. I hope I'm not singing. Yes, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, very quickly. Philippians, your microphone does not have phone, it only has mic. Finally, brethren. Finally, brethren. Whatsoever things are true. Number one, a Christian should think. Christian in Latin, you don't know are you hearing me? Your thinking should be truthful. When you become a liar, you cannot reign with Christ when he comes. Are you hearing me? And let me shock you with this. There is no small lie. There is no big lie. Every lie is a lie. There is lie, lie, falsehood has no color. Oh, you okay, when you say it's white lie, it's black lie, it's red lie, it's purple lie. Lie, 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 lie is what lie. lie. When you, your husband gives you money to go and buy 
food items and you hide some and you now lie you have actually disconnected yourself from going with Jesus Christ it, as simple as it is it's very dangerous think truth even if it requires your life freedom is only in the truth Jesus was teaching the disciples and he said and ye shall know the truth and you will be set free are you hearing what I'm saying let everybody be dancing to the right dance to the righteous side are you hearing what I'm talking about if not you miss it Men can make you to miss it. The fear of men can bring falsehood into you. Be truthful. I never swore and I will never swear. No swear to me if you are telling me the truth. Even if I swear to you, you will not believe me if I have spoken the truth to you. Oh, Nick, my boss, why do you to swear? Are you hearing what I'm saying? She will go on to Monsa. Yes. Whatsoever things are honest. Uh, is it honest or honest? My English teacher says, when you say honest, it's not good. Uh, you know, I, I respect my teachers. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You try, you try. Whatsoever things that are honest. Honesty. Honesty is living a transparent life. Tell the pastor sleeping that the color is not for the sleepers. Uh -huh, yeah. Good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The color is for the watchmen. Now, whatsoever that is honest, be honest. Everybody may be dancing around. Tell the truth. It's like talking about the same truth. Be honest. Hey, great. Whatsoever things are just. Justice. Let somebody say justice. Justice, justice is lack of inequity. Tito, justice is lack of inequity. Tito, je, I need if you are not a man of justice, you will be clouded by ethnocentrism. You will be clouded by tribalism. You will be clouded by more, the more errors that comes from the majority. That is why I respect my brother, if you are not flowing with me, I leave you behind. I go. <laughs> because I am timed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It, it, that's why I respect Joshua and Caleb. There were 12 of them sent to go and spy the land. 10 were wet blanketers. No. Wet blanketers and one pano pano no jebe. One jebe pano pano. They came back. They said we saw the giants. We cannot conquer them. Ah, le shay one logo. If you have wet blanketers in any committee, to bari a one pano pano ni ni. They will always see impossibility. I go shay shay ni one mari. They will never ever be optimistic. They will say this is not possible. Look at the society. People are finding it very difficult to eat. And they will use different languages. One of the languages they will use is all fingers are not equal. And I always ask them the one that you think is shorter cut it and see whether the rest will work. Raise up your fingers. Which one is shorter? Two. Two. Which one controls the rest? Which one can touch the rest? Eh? 
and it is that one you despise and say all oh, vegans are not equal. Oh, yeah, no, 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 These are wet blanketers. These are wet blanketers. They can never inspire. Walking for when you need me, see. They cannot even perspire. Talk of inspiring. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? When you are not a possibility thinker, you are just a latent individual. Dormant. This money I am challenging every one of you. There are things that God packaged inside of you. No, 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 no. There are things that God packaged inside of you. God did not create you like an empty slate. God created you with certain potential. Your own may be singing and composition. Don't be proud in it. Don't be proud with it. Don't boast. It is God that has given you. Are you listening to me? These great men of God were brothers born of the same mother and father. John Wesley and Charles Wesley. Charles Wesley was a composer and a singer. When Charles Wesley began to sing, people began to cry and give their life to Christ. When John Wesley began to preach, people will not give their life to Christ. One day, John asked child, what happened? When you are singing, people will give their life to Christ. People start crying. But when I preach, people will laugh as if I'm entertaining them. And they will just go away like that. John Wesley said, Charles Wesley said, Wesley, you are so we respect the spiritual dark room. And you will have spiritual dark room experience. And when you come out, you become a shining image. A shining image. Do you know why? Because the Bible says they looked up to him and their faces were lighted and they were not put to shame. Today, I am declaring standing on this altar that as many of you as the devil has decided to cast as passion upon that this is the hour as long as you are here that particular garment of shame 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 that garment of shame must be removed I command it to be removed. Do you know when Jesus comes? He must not meet us with the blood of men. In other words, don't, don't mingle yourself with things that destroy people. Where you are, people are talking against people. Run away from them. Because you will become part and parcel of them. As long as you are there in that context, stand and look for God. Stand and look for God. That lady reading, be seated, please. You know how Christian think is what we are reading very quickly. Whatsoever things are pure. Is it poor? Pure, pure. Uh, pure. Yes, pure. Yes, pure. Pure. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whatsoever things are pure, on continue, mimo. let somebody say purity. Purity. How many of you did chemistry? chemistry. Did you do chemistry in secondary school? Okay, what is the quality or characteristic feature of water? It is a colorless, odorless, and tasted solvent. Tasted liquid. But it's not pure. It's pure. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Purity does Mim not accommodate color. Mimo, uh, and until I walk. 
You cannot see the kingdom of God. My pain is that too many people are talking of holiness when they do not know the concept of holiness. I love you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Holiness is purity. Of life and lifestyle. If you are not holy, you cannot see Christ. Oh, Lady Christy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus is prophesied as coming. Okay, let Jesus me so tell you. Let, let somebody, let somebody, that, not, my, not that my sister. Read Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, so that you understand what I'm talking about, that purity. purity. Whatsoever things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 5, Matthew, For he said unto him. Eh? For he said unto him. Eh? For they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall do what? See God. And I want to ask you a question. How many of us want to see God? How many of us want to see Jesus when he will come? It's not about the spiritual gift that we have. It is about the purity of heart. The purity of heart. Your heart must be pure. Don't hold anybody in your heart. As you are seated here. If you know there is somebody you are holding in your heart. When the time of prayer has come. Ask God please forgive me. I am going to meet him. We are going to reconcile. Because if you don't reconcile with that person, you cannot make it. That is a blunt truth. You can't make it. One thing that frightens me most is this. No man has the key to hell. Abi. I thank God for that. If not, so many people will have sentenced so many people to hell. Mm? No man has the key to I thank God for that. Then somebody would have looked at you and said, why, why did you not greet me? Come, follow me, go to hell. You open the hell gate. You don't enter. Oh my God, oh my God. This God, this God. This kind God. I have and never then, seen your type. Oh, eh, this kind God. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Are you listening to me? Another thing that frightens me, but I thank God for it, is that oh, no man had the kick. see any gun, Tony Coco see or no. Good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If not, some people will gather only their friends and open the door of heaven for them. Enter. All of their enemies will be locked outside. Look, look at the wisdom of God. Oh, oh, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Anytime I see that and I think of that, I say, God, I will continue to serve you till I die. If not, some people would have locked some of us out of heaven. Because they will look at you, look at you and say, Jude, you are not going to heaven. Then I will be begging them because the key is in their hands. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Let's come now to the real thing. Prophecy. Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. Daniel 7, 13. Quickly. Daniel 7, 13. Quickly. 
No, I don't like collision. Go to microphone. Daniel I saw seven. you in the night vision. Daniel, Daniel so, no, don't read it like newspaper. <laughs> I saw in the night vision. I saw it in the night vision. And behold, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> And came to the ancient of days. Ancient of days. And they brought him. Who is that ancient of days? Who is that ancient of days? Tanya Agba Johnny. Jesus. Ancient of days. As old as you are. As old as you are. Yes, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Have you finished reading? What did he do? do? Read it again. Etunka. I saw the night visions. I saw it and in the behold, night vision. Yes. One like the Son of Man came with the cloud of heaven. Uh -huh. And came to the ancient of days. He came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. Mm -hmm. Ancient of days is God Almighty. Any about God the Father. God the Father. God the Father. His son appears. Omore Pharaoh. Before him, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the Redeemer of the world, the Sanctifier of men, the Savior of the world, the one declares authenticity of his word, and there is no doubt about it. The one that heals and delivers without collecting money. Is this Jesus we are talking about? And that is why your team is this same Jesus. This same Jesus who healed yesterday. Hebrew 13 verse 8 says Is Jesus yesterday? Jesus today. And Jesus forever. What a glorious thing. It does not matter the kind of sickness that is in your body right now. I want to assure you before this message comes to an end, that sickness has to leave your body. Do you know why? Because it is written in the word of God. The strangers shall be frightened and they have to flee out of their hidden places. Do you know why? Because it is written in the word of God that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And whosoever that troubles no sins shall be troubled. Don't call it your sickness. Then my sickness, they worry me. You have become a possessor of sickness. Make the living God disconnect you from me today. There should be healing in your blood. There be should, should be healing in your bone. Your bone that is weak should be strengthened. There should be healing in your brain. It was there should be healing in your lungs. It was there should be healing in your ventricles. It was there should be healing in your heart. It was there should be healing all around your body. It was on your walk. You can't get your God out there. Kamaya kapolia bahanta ya resuria mahanta kapolia. You cannot be an apostolic church and be carrying a yoke all around oh leje omo apostoli na ko si ma gbe ajaga kaakiri even if the attackers are in the church to ba ti le je pe awon to n kolu ni wa ninu ijo god is going to chase them out olorun yo le won jade because there must be a separation between the goat and the sheep nitori pe iya pa yo iya soto yo wa laarin wure ati agunto daniel daniel saw ori the son of man omo eniyan in the Vision, night vision. It's a great prophecy. Coming. Coming. The similitude. The similitude. Mm -hmm. 
was what good Daniel saw. Only Daniel read. But the reality is coming. Umbo. We will see him face to face. Aori loju koju. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Remember, I told you. Naughty most of all. The first coming. We were a coco. After the first advent in human form. Nay, we were a gabian. Is is rapturing process. Oje iba soke. And when the rapturing process takes place, according to that first Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18, he said we shall be caught up to be with the Lord in the air. How many years are we going to be with the Lord in the air? How many years? Eternity. Oh, serious. <laughs> oh, God. Pastors. Oh Jesus, you have forgotten what your teacher taught you. Oh my God. We are going to spend seven years in the air. Seven years. Daniel called it 70 weeks. Daniel and seven. We are going to spend seven years in the air. And that is called the marriage super of the lamb. That will definitely happen to attest to the gloriousness of the first resurrection. There are two types of resurrection. Resurrection from the dead. Believers who believed in Christ who died of accident that the sea carried them away that men attacked them for their faith that kill, were killed or that died naturally but they were in Christ they will experience the first resurrection you and I must be there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you are a pastor and you are still in tight, you will not be there. I'm telling you, honestly, if you are still in tight, you will not be there. If you are an elder, and your own is confusion. You will not be there. If you are a dickness. And you have become sickness. You will not be there. Do you know how dicknesses become sicknesses? When there is up to the level of hatred. Of gossiping. Of backbiting. Of slandering. Of backstabbing. They will not be there. Still, still say there is a reason why God gave you this thing. It, it might even be beyond the prophet himself. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. We will spend seven years. This seven years is segmented into two periods. Three and a half years will be celebrated there. We call it appearing before the seat of Christ. And that is why theologically it is called the Bima seat. The seat of mercy. The Bima seat. We appear before that seat of mercy. It is a different period from other ways. This period we are going to be celebrated with rewards. Some people will wear crowns. Crown of glory. Ah, yeah, yeah. Crown of glory. Yeah. Some people will wear crown of 
righteousness. They live a righteous life. They kept themselves from spot and blemishness. They go to, you know. But unfortunately, there are some people. There are some people that will be saved, but they will not get reward. Do you know that? Some people will be saved though. Mm? And the Bible said they will be scarcely saved. Yes, you get it. Like somebody will pass through fire. But no reward for them. Because there are two things. It's either you, you are saved or you are not saved. When you are saved and you don't have reward, you have labor for nothing. Because salvation is not part of your labor. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, sir. Okay, sorry. God gave it to us free of charge through Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you understand? Show you. And this is where the problem lies. I, the one I said now, I know some people are getting confused. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Corinthians. Uh, chapter 3. Oh, I think I'll stay longer. I should stop. Oh. No, I should. Because I can see faces. Is it hunger? Read it. If any man's work shall be born. You no, know, read from what, what verse are you? I'm in verse 15, sir. Start from verse 10. All right, sir. According That's first Corinthians chapter 3. According to the grace of God. According to the grace of God. Which, which is given unto me. That is Paul appreciating the grace of God. As a wise master builder. Uh, to God. I have laid the foundation. The foundation is laid. And another and another builds upon it. But let every man take heed. Be careful how you build. How he buildeth there upon. Yes. For other foundation can no, no man lay than that which that is laid. That is laid. That Jesus, which is laid. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation. And if anybody build on this foundation. Gold, silver, precious stones. Look at the Look at the building material. There are six building materials. There. Six building materials. There. Gold, silver, and brass. Precious stone. Precious stone. Precious stone. Uh, look at another, uh, another. How many of you want? <laughs> How many of you want to build with gold? Build with uh, silver. And build with precious stones. Okay. Okay. How many of you want to build with wood? When there is availability of uh, gold. Hey. Eh? Hey. Eh? Hey. You know what is hay? Hay are leftover grasses. Leftover grasses. After you have cultivated, they are leftover grasses. And then you begin to use those grasses to build. Yes, hey. Stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest. But your offer be Oh my God. Whether you like it or not, every man's work shall be what? Made manifest. If you use grasses to work for God, that is laziness. I am talking from that place is Jeremiah the work of the Lord eight verse ten. Thoughtfulness. Only a bene for any trophy, meleshi shaulua. Woe unto the man that did the word of God with slothfulness. No, no. that's not true. Woe unto a man. Woe unto a bene for okonina who does the work of God deceitfully. Trophy, doche shaulua belu et. Imele. Imele. Yes. 
yo ba gidi n pe ni mele eh hallelujah 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 e se ba praise the lord hallelujah mm -hmm. for the day shall declare it there is a day and that day is going to be when jesus shall come ojo kan bo ojo en si ni ojo ti jesus yo de when jesus comes to reward his servants whether it be known or not you have a come for to oh yes lord ka tu pa wa si ma jo oh ale wi be a shetan ara fun le wa di don lo ke we you are ba wo ate mi shono yes lord shono shono goluwa yo de it's gonna go yo padawa you as a man you will be a new just gathering wise ti o kon ko aya ajo just gathering wise o kon ko aya ajo say that is what made me big ohun ti o so mi de eniyan lare you have one in badagri oni kan ni badagri you have one in muwo oni kan ni muwo yes yeah you get it right you have another one at owodeyewa oni kan ni owodeyewa hmm just that then I just pity your life. Ah, I know I hear the answer. Me, close it. Tossy because why I know is unite in one place. Tossy because unite in a place. I'm a nikimi. A nigga ni mo no ti magba jade. You know do what the way I work. The only one we have is that not enough? You don't finish. Uh, within, me and no sit down. You go sit down. Yeah. Because it shall be revealed by fire. It shall be revealed by what? Fire. Oh, we have enough in her. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Yes. Build there upon. He shall receive reward. He shall receive a reward. He shall do what? He shall receive Yo, a reward. Yo, But if any man's work, if any man's work shall be born, uh huh. He shall suffer loss. Do. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. <laughs> do you see? Do you see? Shetiri, you can be saved. Ali baola, but you lose reward. Shuma o padanu eri. Pastor, that we preach is not enough. So many pastors will not make it to heaven. Because they have deviated from the call. Do you know that administration can make people to lose heaven? I have I have passed through phases of administration. And I'm be careful. You don't bully the church. Oh, bully, bully. My Okay, my Thank you. You don't bully the church. If I am a man of God, mm -mm. men of God don't say like that. Where any day a man says, I am your husband, that man should be looking for skirt. Because your wife is supposed to know that you are the husband. My wife is supposed to see my face and know that I am her husband. It's not until I bully. Uh, say me ni ke ma soro ni say me ni ke ma soro hallelujah hallelujah you don't need it have you finished it's scarcely you will be saved by by fire agbala but no reward be any line no ko ja sumo ko be a very wonderful singer only in the choir o le je ni to nko ni da da ninu akorin you will not make it sibe ko ni debe 
of what benefit will that be for you? Think about this. Daniel. Daniel. Let somebody see Deuteronomy 30 verse 3 very quickly. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 30 verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 3. Deuteronomy ori ogbon eseketa. Aha. And shall obey his voice. Obey the voice of God as you are listening right now. According to all that I commanded thee this day. Aha. Thou and thy children with all thine eyes. Yes. And with all thy soul. Jeremiah 33. 30 verse 3. Very quickly. Oriketa ori ogbon eseketa. Yes. That then the Lord thy God will turn their captivity and yes. have compassion upon thee. Uh -huh. And will return and gather thee from all the nations. Uh -huh. Whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. Remember, it was foretold by the prophet Daniel. Two, it was foretold by Jesus himself that he is going to come. Are you hearing me? And if Jesus said he was going to come, truly he will come because Jesus I serve that I know is never a liar. But the question is where will he meet you? What will he meet you with? That is where the question is. Three, in that area you have it with you. It was foretold by Paul. And that was that first Thessalonian that was read to us. Chapter 4, verse 15 to 18. And, and I, I love what Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 14. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 14. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. That thou keep this commandment. Keep his commandment. Without spots. Don't allow anything to stain you. Unrebukable. Yes. Until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to appear. When you have that expectation, you will live a careful and circumspect life. You be very, very careful. You be very, very careful. Yes, Sarah. Be careful in terms of your interpersonal relationship. Be careful in terms of your associations. Be careful in terms of your thinking. Be careful in terms of the choices you make. Be careful in terms of your emotional expression. The totality of your personality should be imbued by being careful. And remember, angel says Jesus is going to come. Don't forget, the prophet said it. Jesus said it. Paul said it. And the angel says. Acts chapter 1, verse 10 to 11. He said, Did Jesus will see going to heaven? He's going to come. The same way. In other words, when Jesus will come, is he coming spiritually or physically? Eh? Eh? Good. Means, truly, you are an apostolic. There is this theory that is flying now. That the second coming of Jesus Christ is going to be spiritual. And so they allegorize. The second coming of Jesus is not allegory at all. It, it is physical. You will see. The Bible says all lies. We will see him. Will see him. Praise God. Hallelujah. But it's not coming with any brush. There will be no brushes. No wound. It's coming in his magnificent, transparent body. With the resplendent of God upon his life. What a glory. For you to see him. Oh my God. 
purpose of his return. Um, though my the analysts they really tried, I want you, oh, but they use a concept that I want to really check. He said to complete the salvation of the saints. Abi, you mean I want your fear. you mean? The salvation of the saints is not complete. Uh, that is a paraphrase. Praise God. Hallelujah. The salvation of the saints is already complete. That is why he said it is finished. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For Jesus. Jesus to say it is finished, Paul also said, I am a master builder. I've laid a foundation. Other foundations shall no man laid. And in that aspect of verse 12, the Bible says, There is no other name given whereby we must be saved. So it, the salvation was complete. But I think they meant to perfect. The salvation of the saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? You are so tired. Remember these people gathered in the upper room for 10 days. They were not tired. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28 very quickly. Huh? Read it, read it, read it, read it well. Read it, read it again. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Yes. And unto them that look for him, shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he will appear the second time you for their salvation like does not mean to complete it. Like because salvation has been completed on the cross. Analyst. Yeah. Well done. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we are not careful, skeptics, we just pick that concept and begin to expand it against what we believe. Heresies will begin to step in. Jesus has perfected your salvation on the cross. Glory. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Through his blood, through his suffering, he's coming to glorify the saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I told you earlier, at the rapture, we will be taken up. At, at his final coming, we will be coming with him. Are you hearing me? The saints that have been raptured will now be coming with him. What are we coming with him to do? There's going to be a war. Oh, Guyo. And that war is called the battle of Gog and Magog. The beast will rise from the sea. There will be tribulations. The apostolic church believes that we will not experience great tribulation believers will not experience it are you hearing me but the pre millennialist believe that you will experience it 
and we don't belong to that camp. And I'm saying this because of those of you, when you hear any waver in any church, you just rush there. Just rush there. You carry your anointed head there. They will begin to hit it for you with wrong doctrine. We are not pre millennialists. We are not. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> you try, Jerry. You think say it's easy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not a millionist. We are not. Millennial. Uh, we are not a millennialist. We are not. We are post millennialists. I je and to what shadu egg ben rodu. Eh? Shadu. Okay. The people will have suffered. I when your yoti gia. Those who have rejected Jesus Christ. Who has received the mark of 666, which is the mark of the beast belonging to dragon. Them, they would have received that mark. Those who are in the church and they are still going to one native doctor and the other. I want to one you just saw sixteen to Babala Wokolo. They will suffer and gnash their teeth. And it's not going to be a day of mercy. At that period, very seven years of torture. Jesus will now come with the sins. And the Bible says in the book of Zechariah chapter 4. He said when he comes. He will put his left leg. On the Mount of Olivet. The left right. And the Mount of Olivet. Will be split into two. One to the west. One to the east. He can uh, uh, he won. Kama Ali Gabahataya. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And when that happens, fire will be coming out of his mouth. In no Burning. Destroying. The beast. Uh, and the Antichrist. I will destroy them. You will destroy them. I think, I think your secretary will allow you to list him. I think your secretary will allow you to list him. God bless you. He knows me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you understand? Show you. And when that happened, he will now set up. Yo, what? His kingdom of righteousness. One thousand years. On earth. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Lions and goats will now be living together. Praise God. Hallelujah. They will now live together. It will be a kingdom of peace. No more Boko Haram. Boko Haram. No more Hesmen. No more banditry. No more area boys. No more Oro. Are you listening to me? She and me. Do you want to partake? She offered the Alaba Queen in that. Ninue ye, that is the time. A near Coco, no, is coming to glorify his people. Tiombo Ladisha, when you're a logo to glorify his saints. Ladisha, when your memo logo glorify his saints. Ladisha, when your memo logo is going to be wonderful. Yo, Jay Yano. It's unfortunate that so many great men of God will not be found there. Oh, Shenila Nuke or Po, I want you to show along to your when I was administrative secretary, I made a covenant with God. I said, Oh God, 
this office help me to overcome the office and not the office overcoming me first of all take away pride don't allow pride pride of office to come to me pride of office has made so many people to lose heaven pride of office the moment you were not a superintendent. You can speak like human being. The moment you become a superintendent, Hallelujah. Oh, but you are now what? A superintendent. Hallelujah. What makes you different? You know, it is not a call to pride. It's because to require initiation. To buy share you initiation. To need you who require If you have work, you do not change your voice. Don't you know I'm a superintendent now? Show me what Bala Bujuto ni mini. And so what? In buy your uncle. And so what? And so what? In buy your uncle. When he comes, in buy the old bad day. It's not going to be because we are superintendent. Say, enter into the rest. No. no. Rather, rather. You see, that day, that day, many will say, I prophesied in your name. I cast out demons in your name. I heal the sick. I your name. I heal the sick. But I will tell you, depart from me. Workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? The work of dirtiness. Sinfulness. It's, 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 it's a capsule statement of dirty life. Depart from me. I don't, I don't know you. Let somebody say divine disclaimer. Divine disclaimer. Divine disclaimer. You must fear that. What will make him to say, I don't know you? Run away from it. Let me draw the curtain because somebody is hungry now. Somebody is hungry. I'm looking at faces that are very, very hungry. And what, what they are praying now, oh God, let Pastor Ekele finish quickly. Finish quickly. In Jesus' name. Is it not the same Jesus I'm telling you? This same Jesus. Jesus can know you must Yes. To glorify the saints. Lati share and when your go. Is coming to bring to light the hidden things of darkness. Nothing will be hidden. Lati mo unt ko untio fara sin wasi ni mole ko si untio fara sin. There is nothing you do now. You are hiding. You are hiding. Let nobody know. Even as no, we are talking now, some of the men here, there are beers. There are tops in, in, in the fridge. In the fridge. The fridge is not in the parlor. It's in the inner room. In the fridge. In the fridge. To am parlor shu mo to wa nu yara. And they come to the church. So when they go home now, they take chilled stout. stout. Tiri, tiri, tiri. Meta, meta, meta. By the grace of God, all of them, light will be enough and uh, they will break before you reach home. <laughs> they will break. He's coming to judge. We have told you that. He's coming to reign. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He's coming to reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's coming to receive us to be with himself. We said that early from John chapter 14. He's coming to destroy death. And death will be swallowed up in victory. Death will be swallowed up in victory. I don't want you to be afraid of death. I fear no death. What I fear is what can disconnect me from going to heaven. Because, because my Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 that is appointed unto man to die once. After that, judgment. Whether you like it or not, whatever charm you carry, you will die one day. Mm -hmm. If my father could die, anybody can die. Are you hearing me? 
And do you know what killed my father? Malaria fever. I saw him. This was a man that when a madman is coming, he says, Go and wear clothes. Who made you like this? In the man will go and wear clothes. Malaria fever. All these things are vanity. This, is, this was a man that when old, you know, old, 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 near the compound. He will talk to that tree because you allowed this evil or we will to, to rest on you. Become firewood. And the thing will dry. Malaria kill him. That even made me. I became angry. All the shrines, I burned them. My other brother was afraid because as I was burning them, I hold my my gun. And these are the people you run to. I want to to Lori. Baba Guaromiro. Baba say ah, sit on my issue. Are you saying God cannot intervene into your issues? What God cannot do, no man can do it for you. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Even though I don't like the, the language of this song you always sing. But uh, we have no option. It's coming back again. Back and again, is it not the same thing? Back and again, <laughs> even though I don't like the language, I don't I join you sing it. <laughs> it's coming back again, my Lord is coming back again. What brought again there? Because you, the composer doesn't know the next thing to say. He doesn't say anything to destroy the English language. Back and again is the same. It's a complete tautology. Mm. Then, but all of us join them to sing it all. Okay, he's coming back again. My Lord is he's coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. No, even though the lyrics are good. The etymology very wrong. Very wrong. Uh, but we have to sing it as long as Holy Spirit descended. Holy Spirit will not look at the grammar. <laughs> but on a very serious note, check your life. Are you still in Christ? If you are in Christ, why do you hate your brother? Matters you're supposed to discuss with your brother between you and him, you begin to backbite him. You are losing heaven already. No, you are losing grip of heaven already. Listen to me. Whatever that will make me to be afraid and not tell you the truth. I will close my eyes and tell you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If looking at your face will make me to fear, I will close my eyes. It's better you do that than becoming crafty and hypocritical. And then you miss heaven. God has no grandfather. God has no elder brother. God is the ultimate being that owns heaven and the earth. And anybody who traverses his rule who contravene his rule will miss heaven permanently. 
will miss heaven permanently. To bring this to a close, Psalm 2, verse 9, and verse 11. Let me apply this. Psalm 2, verse 9, Nine, verse 11 and verse 12. Though thou break them with the rod of iron, uh -huh. thou shalt dash them in pieces. It's coming to like a potter's vessel. That's what is coming to do. It will break the beast, the Antichrist, and the rod of iron. And he will do what? Oh, who is reading? Talonka. Are you hungry? Read it now. Read it. Verse. And thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Verse 12. Verse 12. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. Yes. When his wrath is kindled like a, like a little. Yeah. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. What does it mean to kiss his son? Embrace him. Embrace Jesus today. Embrace Jesus today. How do you embrace Jesus? Accept him. Accept him. In John chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says, For as many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. Accept him. Receive him. Whatever that is so heavy for you, roll it on Jesus. Roll it on him. There's nothing Jesus can do. He will deliver you from implication. He can complicate every complication that may tend to rise against you. And bail you out of that trouble. Remember we are talking about the prophecies. Of his return. And finally, he is coming to fight in defense of his people in defense of his people Jesus is coming to fight let's look at the final portion of the scripture to buttress my statement Zechariah chapter 14 verse 3 to 5 and verse 9 Zechariah. Zechariah Orike in la. Chapter 14. Orike in la. Mm. Are you are you tired? No, sir. Mm. Talk now. Zechariah chapter 14. Zechariah Orike in la. Are you there? Show to Verse 3 to 5. And verse 9. Get a sick carn at a second. Then shall the Lord go forth mm -hmm. and fight against those nations. Mm -hmm. As when he fought in the day of battle. He's coming to fight. Yes. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. I like this your Bible. In that day. I say I like that's your Bible. Baba. Take her name. Remind uh, my secretary. I will send a Bible to her. How can you have this Bible? This is a nightmare Bible now. Show me the back. Show me the back. Show me the back. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The one you use to, to do your hair, retouch your hair. You can use it to buy a Bible now. But I owe you a Bible. Tell my secretary. All right. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Yes. In that day uh -huh. shall there be one Lord. And in his name, one. That's what is going to happen. Are you going to be included in that government? If you will rise up, let me see you. Will you be there? If you will be there, will you rise up? Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. There will be one kingdom and there will be one king. There will be one king. He will fight the nation. The Gog and the Magog shall be overthrown. The Antichrist will be arrested. 
But at this time is coming with the saints. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. You are going to sing this my song that I love to sing. After that, we will pray. Then I will hand over the microphone to my host. Then I will enter my car and go away. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. Oh. I am just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. My home. My home is beyond the sky. My home. My home is beyond the sky. Oh. I know I am just a stranger here. Yeah. My home is beyond the sky. My home, my home, my home is beyond the sky. Think about it. Think my about it. Only look at it. Beyond the sky. Oh yeah. I'm just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. My home, my home, my home is beyond the sky. Oh. I am just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. Oh, I'm just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. When I think of your glorious name. And I remember the day that it is on now. I will reflect on my home. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. Hallelujah. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. I'm just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. As we are singing that song. And you want to give your life to Jesus in earnest. And you want to reign with him. You don't want to be missed behind. You want to be raptured. And you want to come with him. To his kingdom of peace. You begin to rush out now. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky, oh, I'm just a stranger here. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. My home is beyond the sky. Begin to rush out now. My home is Begin to rush out now. My home is You want to run with him. Okay, Begin to rush out now. My home is beyond It might be because of you. Oh, yes, 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 because of you that this word has come out my home my home is beyond the sky my home is beyond the sky my home is beyond the sky I am just a stranger here my home is beyond the sky my home is beyond the sky my home is beyond the sky my home is beyond the sky. My home, my home, my home is beyond the sky. Oh, I am just a stranger here. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. You cannot afford that home. You cannot afford that home. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. And I don't want to miss it either. I want to reign with Jesus, my Lord. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. My home is beyond the sky. 
Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Some of you are ashamed. This may be your last day. You don't know. Oh, mama. You don't know. Oh, mama. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know what is there, and I don't want to know. But I want you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I promise him you will be his disciple and follow him. Are you hearing me? I'm of you understand English. English, all of you. Ah, even Papa. God bless you, sir. Amen. God bless you. Amen. If you miss heaven, you have missed everything. Heaven is forever. This earth is not forever. Whatever we are, whatever we have, we end. But in heaven is eternity. Giving your life to Jesus, you have nothing to lose. I have never regretted becoming a follower of Christ. In fact, I glory in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, wherever you are, this altar can talk. As long as an altar of the Lord, come and hold it. Touch it. This altar can talk. Whatever you know you are doing that is troubling you, that is disconnecting you from Jesus, tell him today, I am dropping it at the altar. I am dropping it at the altar. I am giving my life to you, Jesus. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. Rule my life. Let nothing rule me other than you. Save me. And I will continue to follow you all the days of my life. name we pray. Amen. Say this after me. Lord Jesus. Say it. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. Have mercy on me. Receive me to yourself. Grant me to be sincere. Grant me grace. You will be sincere and honest to my confession to my declaration before your altar today let this altar bear me witness that I have made a covenant with you from today I will walk with you I will serve you I will surrender my life totally unto you from today henceforth. So help me God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this opportunity you have given to your children to respond to this altar call. This is very important before you in your presence and in your kingdom. It's a great thing to surrender one's life to you. It's a great thing to submit oneself to you. It's a great thing to open one's heart and admit you inside. The confession that your children have made before you, O oh God, today, in the presence of this host of witnesses, let them stand by it and keep it 
all the days of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This altar is a speaking altar as it has been declared by God's servant. And I pray with you today that the encounter you are having with the Lord today will remain indelible in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will never go back. Amen. The Lord will uphold you. Amen. The Lord will establish you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. The Lord will prosper you. Amen. Your life will never remain the same. Amen. You become joy in the kingdom of God. Amen. And when the trumpet sounds now, you'll be accounted worthy. Amen. That's our prayer for you. Amen. Thank you, God, for answer prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Will you just come up to the altar. Come up to the altar. Come up, come up to the altar. Pastor Aluko. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 